Let's talk about EMUI 10. And I know a smartphone operating system probably isn't the sexiest thing in the world, but EMUI 10 has some cool improvements that I haven't seen on any other devices. First off, the dark mode inside lets you push dark mode on third-party applications, which is really cool. Um, it should save battery with the OLED tech in devices like this, the P30 Pro. And on top of that, um, it's just, again, something novel and new. Um, you can see with the applications tray that I've activated, you can now get into it with a simple swipe up um, rather than have to have that annoying app drawer icon taking up some space. Going to jump onto a few other features as well. Before I do though, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. It's how you stay on top of everything that I do. Right, swiping down, you can see these icons look very, very Samsung. Nice round icons for quick toggles. But if I tap through on one, they animate just like on Oxygen OS from OnePlus. Jump into the settings and you can see it's also taken a bit of a cue from Samsung with the round icons from the old school um, Samsung Touch Wiz OS. Um, actually, I really like it. It's clean, it's segmented. Um, but where the biggest improvement has come through is definitely the camera. If you remember Huawei's old camera, it had that really gross leather texture at the base. Um, now it's got much, much cleaner typography and it's just a simple black framing. If you swipe through as well between the modes, it's way more responsive. Um, and every time I swipe across each one of these, I'm getting a little bit of haptic feedback just vibrating, which makes each one much easier to just almost blind tap through to um, if I'm quick quickly firing it up to take a picture. The gallery application has also been enhanced with more of a magazine layout. So you've got a big headline and smaller body copy and the whole color scheme has been revised to by Huawei. And so you've got something called Mirandi colors for big areas, which is kind of like pastel -y colors, whereas the highlights are significantly more saturated. Looking at the icons, they've also been redrawn in accordance with the golden rules. So it's all tweaked for perfection, as is the loading times of, or the opening times of applications um, and animations, etc. So I've always really, really thought this through. Um, and having swiped through it for a brief period of time now, um, I'm really thinking it's an improvement, but obviously I have to get this installed on my P30 Pro before I can say anything too conclusive. Any questions on this or anything really, find them in the comments section below. And remember, if you like this video, like the channel, subscribe. Thanks for watching.